In the last lesson, we looked at proportional relationships on a graph and with equations. Now we're going to use a table. So does this table represent a proportional relationship and what is your evidence? So we're going to do something similar to the last one. We're going to remember the relationship we saw between those two numbers. And, and when we did a graph, we did y equals kx. And we did know that we could find k by taking y and dividing it by x and looking to see if this was always proportional. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to call this x and this y. And we're going to calculate k by doing y divided by x. So let's see what this looks like for the first one. k is equal to 6 divided by 2. Simplify that and what would you get? 3. That's k in the first one. Let's see if it's constant throughout. So we'll try the next one again. y, which is 12, divided by 4 gives us 3. So, so far so good. It's constant. And we'll try the next set. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 18 divided by 6 is 3. And 30 divided by 10 is 3. So yes, k is constant. So let's answer this. Yes, the table represents a proportional relationship Let's actually express it. Y is equal to 3x. Or let's actually write this out. The total cost in dollars is equal to 3 times the number of downloads. So does this part, I want to make sure this really makes sense. When we say it's equal to three times the number of downloads, that 3x means no matter how many downloads I have, I all I do is do three times the downloads to find out the cost. Why? Because what does that tell you about each download? What would one download be? One download would just be $3. Same as, as the same as our K. So this is what we're going to do. Anytime we need to provide evidence on a table, we're going to use Y and X. You're going to divide Y divided by X. If you do not remember that, just remember Y equals KX. And how do you get the K by itself? You divide both sides by X. So that's another way of remembering it. We're going to try this one more time, Math Marbles. Does the table represent a proportional relationship? What's your evidence? Again, we want to identify K. And looking at this one, I will say, think about this for a minute. The more family members I have, I know that's going to impact the cost. So in this case, this is my Y. But I'm going to see if they have a proportional relationship together. So Y equals KX k is equal to y divided by x. So let's start with the first one. 7 divided by 1 just gives me 7. 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. And 10 divided by 4 gives me 2 and a half. So looking at this, I don't have a consistent pattern. Every single time I have a new family member, it's not the same cost. So no, this does not re represent a proportional relationship because each time I divided, I had a different ratio. I got a different number in the end. This does not. Represent a proportional relationship there is not a constant 
rate of proportionality between cost and the number of family members. I got a different K for each set of values. So there you go. These are not equal to each other. My work shows it. I have clearly expressed it here. And that's what you're looking for in math marbles. You are making connection between your, your X and your Y. And if you're stuck and you're like, Miss, I don't even know what if that changes. What if I change the other way? Even if you mixed up your X and your Y, and let's say you did one seventh and two eighths. Well, I definitely know that these two are not equivalent to each other. One fourth and one seventh not equal to each other. Same thing with three ninths. Those are not equivalent fractions. So even if you mix it up, your constant rate should still be the same. Anyway, hit pause so you can jot this down. And now you know how to find constant rate of proportionality on a table the same way you would on a graph.